Hi. So today, for this lesson, I want to talk about finding all the notes on your guitar fretboard. And there's a bunch of methods for doing this. Um, this method I haven't found in any books or videos, and I've been playing guitar for quite some time. It's just something I kind of stumbled upon, probably like 10 years ago, giving a guitar lesson. Um, but I think it's probably the, the easiest, the fastest way to find the notes on the fretboard um, that's actually practical. I mean, sure, you could go on Google and type in notes on the fretboard and probably get thousands of different pictures or diagrams of the guitar neck with each note for each fret and each string. Or you can do a hands-on approach, which is what I want to show you now. And I'm going to, I'm going to give you some ideas, some additional plugins or additions to this just to kind of even make it more easy and more fast. Uh, so with that said, with this method you only need to know a couple things and they're really simple. Uh, the first thing is you need to know the names of all the strings on your guitar. So that's it. So I'll go through them real quick just in case you don't know. You got the high E string, you got the B string, you got the G, the D, the A, and the low E. If you have a seven string guitar, you just need to know what the low seven string is, which happens to be a B. If you have an eight string guitar, you just need to know that low string. And the concept works for that. It even works for uh, bass guitars. Okay, you just need to know the open strings of whatever you're using. Okay, so the next thing you have to know is the difference between a half step and a whole step. Um, I'm assuming most people know this, but if you're just a beginner, um, then I'll go over that real quick. A half step is just moving from one fret to the next, right? No matter where you are on the guitar, any string, any fret. Half step is just going from one fret to the next, up or down. A whole step is skipping a fret, right? So a whole step would be, instead of going to the next fret, you'd be going, you'd be skipping a fret. In this case, we're at the fifth fret, a whole step up from the fifth fret would be the seventh fret. A whole step down would be from the fifth to the third, and this this is applied to anywhere on the neck and any string. So that's the difference between a whole step and a half step. So the last thing you have to know, or I would say commit to memory, is just four notes. I want you to remember four notes. And those notes are B and C, E and F, right? B, C, E, F. And the reason why I want you to remember those notes is because on the neck of a guitar, the notes B and C and E and F <clears throat> are the only places on the neck that you're going to come across half steps, right? Every other note is separated with whole steps, except for those four notes. Um, now, we're not going to get into sharps and flats because that's determined by the key signature uh, that you'll be using or the scale. Um, this is just to identify the notes on the guitar. So E to F, or F to E, right, forwards or backwards, and B to C or C to B. So E, F, B, C, those are very important that you remember that. So we're going to go through each string using this method to locate certain notes. So off the top of my head, I'll think of a, on the high E string, we're going to find an A note. Right, so we'll start with the open string, which is E. So we got our first set of half steps, right? Our next note must be an F. So that would be on the first fret, because E to F is a half step. Now we know that G is going to be a whole step, so if F is on the first fret, G must be on the third fret. Um, where G, the next note, is A, so A is a whole step, so the A note that we're trying to locate must be on the fifth fret, right? So we've got E, F, G, A. Um, we'll continue to use this system to find the B note. A to B would be a whole step. Now we're at our next 
set of half steps, right? So to find the C note, it's simply a half step up from the B note. Uh, C to D, whole step, D to E, whole step, and then we are at the octave. So it would just repeat at the octave, okay? Um, we'll start at the next string, which is a B string. So we already know that B to C is a half step, so the first fret must be a C note. But let's think of a note real fast. Uh, G. Let's find the G note on the B string. So if B is open, C is on the first fret, it's a half step. C to D, we know is a, a whole step. So the D is on the third fret. D to E is a whole step. E to F is our next set of half steps, so F must be on the 6th fret. And then G is a whole step. So we've located our G note using this system, right? B, C, D, E, F, and G. And then to continue down, a whole step would be A. A to B would be a whole step. And then we're at the octave, and it would repeat. All right, next, the G string. Let's find the E note on the G string. So e, um, G to A would be a whole step, right? Second fret, A. A to B would be a whole step. Fourth fret, uh, we're at our set of half steps here, B to C. So the C note is on the fifth fret, C to D would be a whole step. D to E, a whole step. So we've located our E note right here on the ninth fret of the G string. Now I'm not going to go through every set of strings, I just wanted to go through a few sets of those strings using this method, which I think is a really quick way to find notes. I mean, uh, let's find the uh, E note on the D string. Well, that would be really simple. If D to E is a whole step, then we know the E is right there. Right? Okay, so that's basically the system. It's nothing spectacular, it's just really simple, really fast, really practical, it's just a matter of knowing the names of the strings, knowing the difference between a whole step and a half step, and memorizing E to F and B to C are the only half steps on the guitar that's ever going to occur, right? And we're not talking about keys and sharps and flats and different scales, we're just talking about the natural notes, basically of the C major scale. Um, so some additional plugins to make this a little faster. Um, we can use octaves, of course, to find um, notes on other other strings. And I'm not going to go over octaves. Um, I'm sure you can find that on YouTube. Uh, an octave is one way. Another way to make this system a little faster is to find a fret. Um, for me, I like the 5th fret because every note on every string happens to be a natural note. Um, I mean, if we went to the 7th fret, then we've got this sort of atonal note, which could be a F sharp, right, or a G flat. Um, so the 5th fret, all the notes are natural, so another suggestion would be beyond this method, E to F, B to C on the guitar neck, um, another method would be to to memorize each note on on the fifth fret for each string. That way instead of like let's say finding the the B note on the high E or the low E string, instead of going E, F, G, A, B, right, using our system of half steps and whole steps, we could just if we know the note on the A string and we're looking for the B note, we know that that's a whole step, so immediately we find it. Um, so I think that's kind of a maybe a little bit of a quicker way. It's not like you're going to use this method for improvising. This is more of a method for just locating the notes, committing them to memory. And um, for me, it makes a lot of sense. I think it's pretty practical and pretty fast. And if you have any questions, just leave them in the comments below. Thanks for watching. Hope this helps.